Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's time for I Rate Your Teams. Let's do it. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Jumping straight into it, we're going to go straight in with Huxley or Hulk Designs uh, team. First image is my team, and the second is what I play in game. I've got 300,000 coins, and all players apart from the golds are untradeable. Same with me, Bench. Any improvements? Okay, so. So, for some reason, this, this image is super blurry, and I have no idea why. Luckily, he resends it with HD images, so uh, we can check out the uh, the team with HD images. So, he's got 300,000 coins, and the golds are the untradeables. I'm pretty sure he's what he said. Uh, all players apart from the golds are untradeable. So, the golds are the tradables. The rest are untradeable, sorry. Uh, which is probably, you know, spot on, because you can tell which players are, are tradable and stuff via SBC. So, you're playing a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow in-game. You're playing Martinez as a centre mid when you've got Alwa. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. If I were you, I would play Martinez as your left striker, Sanchez as your cam, Alwa as your right centre mid. If you want an attacking centre mid, Alwa is literally perfect for that. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me why you'd play... Martinez as a centre mid, but uh, each of their own. I would say definitely uh, play Awa as your right centre mid in game. Now, 300k with, with this sort of team, what would I do? Is a good question. I mean, I like how you get in the link with uh, with Vidal and whatnot. I think that's really cool. Um, I would get rid of Diego Carlos, personally. Now, with 300k, you can probably afford Baby Hierro, if I'm not mistaken. Let me actually double-check that. Uh, Baby Hierro. Let's have a quick look. Um, Baby Hierro is currently going for... About 340, you are on Xbox, so about 350. Might have to be a, a, a wait till rewards day. But after rewards day, I would get yourself uh, Baby Hierro as your left center back, or just grind the Archon Stops to get him for free. Um, that allows you to get full chemistry on your left side, apart from uh, Vidal, who's obviously in the middle, so not left side. Uh, but it allows you to get full chem on your left back and left center mid, but mainly just your left center mid who's off chemistry. And also your left center back gets full chemistry as well. And I think he'd be better than Diego Carlos until we see an upgrade on that card. Don't get me wrong, he is a good card but I would rather play Hierro on full chemistry. Uh, moving on now, we have got Tim's team. Uh, I have 370k and I play a 4-2-3-1 in-game with Sane and Debele out wide. Messi can bend it a striker. Diego Carlos, Roberto Carlos, Guardiola and Sane untradeable. Whole bench is untradeable. Getting the mid icon pack from swaps. Let's go, dude. Um, okay, so... It's hard to rate this team knowing you're going to have such a big change in the team depending on what you get in the mid-icon pack. For example, you could get yourself a Hullet, you could get yourself a Vieri, you could get yourself a Layman. You know, you could get yourself anything. It's uh, it's hard to, to go and make adjustments to a team when you know that there's an impact coming in the team. Um, what I would say is open the mid-icon pack and then resend in your team. Um, now, uh, you know, sometimes it might not get featured. So if your team does not get featured after the mid-icon pack, depending on who you get, I would say... Uh, upgrade your Dembele for uh, a better cam. Maybe going with, uh, you know, with 370k, you're not far off getting what the, the lowest version of Haji. Uh, I would say maybe save up a little bit and get yourself Haji. Uh, he's a very good cam. And then you can play uh, Messi out wide and Haji central or vice versa, whichever one you prefer. Um, aside from that, I think the team is really nice, well built. I like your bench as well. You've got a really OP bench, which I like a lot. And uh, be sure to let me know in the comments or on Twitter who you get in the mid-icon pack. Because uh, I'm always interested. Mid-icon packs are so cool, in my opinion. Uh, the next team is coming from Zayad Sehal, who says, Second one is how I play in game. Untradables are Schweinsteiger or Sitch icons. I've got 10,000 coins, but I don't mind saving. Thank you so much. A. Hey. No worries, man. Um, okay, well, obviously, you're not making any changes to the team with 10k. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, one thing I will say, boys, if you guys are sat on, like, 10k or 5k with a team like this, you know full well that it's going to be very hard for me to give you any advice that you d like that you can work with, you know? Um, if I were you, the weak link in this squad is Schweinsteiger for me. Um, I would upgrade that card when you can. Now, given how you run the team and how fundamental that position is towards chemistry, you're going to have to probably go with an icon. Um, you know, you could grind swaps, although you've already got Raul, so you've got limited tokens, uh, if you have any tokens left, that is. Um, so maybe perhaps getting yourself Nakata, he's pretty solid. Um, or if you're going strict CDM, Gattuso has actually got a nice card this year. He plays pretty well. Um, there's a few different options you can go with there. But I would say uh, Schweinsteiger is a weak link, and he is definitely where I would put your focus on upgrading next. Um, aside from that, I think the, the team is pretty OP. Uh, then after after Schweinsteiger, probably just um, Varane for Ramos, actually. Um, and yeah, I'd probably say that's about it for the team. The team is a, a strong team in the positions. Um, obviously... 
eventually you want to go and uh, and change out Werner and Nabry for a better duo. Uh, perhaps you go with the likes of um, I don't even know to be honest with a striker and right mid duo. You could go with the likes of Inform Martial and Dan James. Let's go. That future stars Dan James, by the way, looks really cool, and I'm definitely doing it from objectives, and I highly recommend you guys do too. It takes you about 15 squad battles games, but it's pretty easy, really easy objectives in squad battles. Uh, I would say spend the time to do it, in my opinion. The next team coming from Mateo Paps 91 who says, I've got 700k, and I'm thinking of making this team. Untradables are uh, Sterling, Alwar, and Icons. Do you think I should make this team? If not, what improvements should I make? Love the vids, keep with the great work. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um... This is a nice team. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing this is... Okay. Hmm. What would I do with this team? Would I change anything? That's the question. I actually would. I would change I would change a couple of things in this team. Uh, first things first. I would swap over Ferlamendi, Robertson, Varane, and Van Dijk. And I would, I would play it on the opposite side. Uh, I would then, in my opinion, go for... Uh, as opposed to getting, I mean, Alwa is a great player, don't get me wrong, but I would say, no, you can still do this. Um, it's a difficult one. I'm trying to figure out what is a good play. I want, I want you to get Son on chemistry. Um, and I'm looking at Ferland as well, thinking what the best play there is too. Uh, and I'm trying to think if there's a different formation you can play. Don't think there is, to be honest. Uh, I think you're in a bit of a predicament, so... All in all, I think Robertson's pretty awful at the minute. Um, I used him in a team uh, not so long ago, and he just didn't perform like he used to at the start of the game. A lot of people will be like, but, but I've got Robertson, he plays really well. In my opinion, he doesn't. That's just how it is. Um, and I also didn't rate that Van der Sar when I used him, personally. Oh, wait, no, that's the middle. If, if that's the middle, I use the baby one. I don't know if that's the baby. I think the baby one might be 87. Whichever one the baby one is, stay away from. He's not good. If that's middle but Van der Sar, then, then he is good. Um, but I'm just thinking that maybe swapping over Varane, Van Dijk, Mendy, and uh, Robertson, and then get yourself Kyle Walker at right back, and then maybe swapping over uh, Dembele and Sterling. Uh, but it also, you know, you're still playing a lot of people off chemistry at the end of the day, so uh, probably not doing that is a, still a good option. Um, hmm. I'm going to let the comments decide with this one if you think anyone's worth upgrading or not. Because I feel like the more I talk, the more I'm going to get absolutely roasted. So you guys in the comments, you guys let me know down below what you guys think of that team. The next one coming from Kieran who says, uh, I play a 4-2-3-1 in game. Neymar at Cam, Fabregas and Keane as a two CDMs. Willing to grind for up to 18 tokens. Only on tradables are Neymar, Keane, Van der Sar, Fabregas, Valbuena, Marcelo and Gelson Martins. Have about 400k. Keep the good work. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. You know what I love? I love how it says only on tradables and lists off like half of his team. That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, what would I do with this team? First things first, mid-icon pack straight away. Now, the reason why I say that is because we all play FIFA really sway. And I think we all grind the game and take it a bit too seriously. The reason why I edge a lot of people to go towards a mid-icon pack is because I actually just think it's a bit more fun. I think the mid-icon pack's a lot of fun. I think it's a lot of fun to try it out and try and, you know, try your look and get something good with it. Uh, I think we all try a bit too hard sometimes. Uh, and I think that, you know, taking the gamble, having a bit of fun, trying to make your team a bit more dynamic is always a good option. And I think it's a little bit more of a fun option too. Uh, now, did you say you play something else in game? You play a 4 2 3 one in game. Okay, so I'm guessing Valbuena is your central cam. I'm looking at Valbuena. I think he's a decent card, but I think you could get better for the amount of coins you've got. I'm thinking maybe a Haji. Uh, I'm really into Haji at the minute. I think he's pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying him. Uh, you could also maybe save towards getting Baby Zola. He'd also be a very good option. Uh, either of those two would be awesome. Uh, aside from that, your team is meta in most positions. Fabregas as a CDM is a little bit, you know, dodgy. However, I see why you've got him. He gets links and stuff like that. And it's a smart a smart uh, play to get the links and stuff. Um, but I think he's a little bit dodgy as a CDM. Um, but I would say, I would say getting yourself... Either go and get yourself like a Baby Zola or a Haji at Cam for Valbuena or getting yourself like a a, a Baby Guardiola or, um, or I don't know, maybe like a Baby Blanc from Icon Swaps for Seth Fabregas. I think if you upgrade Valbuena, go mid Icon Pack for Icon Swaps. Uh, if you want to upgrade Seth Fabregas, then get yourself Baby Blanc from Icon Swaps. That's my opinion. Uh, but the rest of the team's really meta. You know, you've got incredibly meta players over here. Uh, Gelson Mines is really good. Your back line is really meta as well. So it's a solid, uh, solid team, to be honest. Um, the next one coming from Dylan Lewis, 
He says, thinking of Komen from Icon Swaps uh, instead of Vitzel. Everyone except Firmino is untradeable. Great vids, by the way. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. So you want to get Komen. Wow. Nice Van Dyke. Hang on, wait. Everyone except Firmino is untradeable. So you've got untradeable 99 Van Dyke. That's uh, nice. All right. Well, I I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking how you're going to set up if you go and get yourself uh Koeman, and I'm thinking maybe go five back, uh, which I completely understand. I think Komen or Koeman, however you say it, is a fantastic CDM, good option. Whether or not you want to sacrifice the four-star skills from Vitzel and the height to get yourself a little, a little bit smaller, but maybe a bit better on the ball is completely up to you. You have got two pretty stonky uh, CDMs, and I've just made that word up um, in Guardiola and, and Vitzel. You know, Guardiola is, I think, 5'11", 6 foot and quite, quite uh, big. And, uh, and Vitzel's about 6'4", who's also quite big, but has four-star skills, which, you know, balances it out sometimes. Um, so I would say whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Um, if you enjoy Vitzel at the minute, there's no point, you know, wasting a lot of your time to get yourself Ronald Koeman when you enjoy Vitzel at the minute. So I would say whichever one you feel more comfortable with, um, if it's Vitzel, keep Vitzel. If, if you want someone a bit smaller, a bit better on the ball, go with Ronald. Um, the rest of the team is fantastic, though, in great shape. Uh, I love the left side. Alfonso Davies, by the way, has a TikTok. If you guys didn't know, actually does. Uh, just his name on TikTok. You guys can find that. There you go. He's a little, uh, little sneaky life hack for you guys. Uh, obviously, Adam is insane. I've heard so many amazing things about that Lewandowski. It's, you know, I haven't used it, but I, I would love to. Um, screen for Mino. Is like you don't get me wrong. He's a very good card. Uh, I think he can get better there eventually, but I think it's worth waiting. Um, you know, the upgrades there are, are obviously in icon form um, because realistically, the only other player you can get there is maybe Martinelli on seven chem. Uh, the future stars one, I think he's pretty expensive. Uh, so I would just hold on to him uh, for now and wait. But apart from that, yeah, uh, that's the best advice I could probably give. If you've got enough tokens, go for Blanc from Icon Swaps and upgrade uh, Vitzel that way. Uh, the next person is Morning Bread. Uh, new team, any recommendations? I'm broke, only player tradable is Ian Wright. Brilliant. Well, uh, first of all, baby Eusebio, team of the year nominee, Mbappe, <laughs> inform Neymar. Wow. The untradables on this team? Spot on. Uh, what would I do with this team if your only tradable is Ian Wright? I mean, really, I think you might be struggling here. If you're not enjoying the team, it's because you've got three strikers at cam. Uh, what I find this year is that cams play better as cams and strikers play better as strikers. What I mean is last year, I used to use Eusebio and Butra Gueno's primes as cams and they played really well. This year, I tried using Butra and Eusebio both as cams. Not so much, you know, but Pele at cam is way better. Uh, so what I would say is uh, if, you're, if you're struggling from that, then sell Ian Wright and get yourself a cam or center forward that you think plays that, that looks really well. Sorry, not plays, but looks really well and give them a go as you can. Uh, aside from that, I think Rykard is a little bit poo. Uh, however, um, I can see why you've got him. I'm just thinking options where you can improve. Inform Casemiro is probably going to be very similar to Rykard, so probably going to be steering clear of him. Um, you know, you could maybe you could maybe sell off Ian Wright and stick. You know what you could do? What you could do here is get yourself that Alwar that's on the bench. Swap him with Ian Wright. Put Ian Wright as your left CDM. And in-game, swap uh, Ian Wright and, and Alwa. Alwa being a CDM, but a pretty attacking CDM. Uh, very agile on the ball. Very good on the ball and stuff like that. That could be a pretty good play. Um, but yeah, this team is really nice. And I feel like it's probably a bit of a flex, really, more than anything. The next one coming from Ollie Hollis FIFA, who's got a lovely Chris from Tusing photo. Love that. Uh, Kraken Plur. I am really struggling with my team. Any chance you could help me build one any formation all untradeable, but Samedo will have roughly 150k. Um, can work towards any team. Thanks, keep with the good words, love the content. Thank you, bro. So I, I see your problem. So you've got untradeable Ronaldo, which is gross. I also have one, but so I can't really talk. You're asking me to build you a full team. I, I would love to sit here and build you a full team, but I don't really think that's a good idea. Uh, what I would say is build around Ronaldo. Um, so you've got 150k. I would just start building around Ronaldo and gradually upgrade the team when you can. Uh, so, you know, build a, a cheap but OP looking uh, Serie A team, get yourself people like Matuidi, uh, get yourself the likes of maybe a Douglas Costa wing that you can bring into Cam, um, you know, and keep all the other plays for like super subs or maybe you make like a hybrid of, uh, of Serie A and Prem and get yourself like 
uh, the Paul Pogba, Dan James link and stuff like that. That might be a good option too. Um, but I'd definitely say build around Ronaldo and then upgrade your team as time goes by. Um, I would not say try and make an endgame team right now because you really can't. Um, just make a team that you feel comfortable with though. I, I can't really comment on how you play FIFA because I don't know. I don't know if you really enjoy small agile plays, whether you enjoy big clunky plays, whether you enjoy better passers or better dribblers. Um, I don't really know. So just build a team around Ronaldo that you feel that you'll be comfortable with and upgrade the team as time goes by, really. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, next one coming from Ajabs, who says, uh, Bench, Hierro, Adama, Cordoba, and Remy are untradeable. I have 20,000 coins. Would love any improvements and looking forward to getting future stars Dembele a striker. Uh, love the vids keep with the good work. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. So you want to get future stars Dembele, but you've just done the Remy SPC. Is there any point upgrading it really early? I think you've just done the, uh, the Remy SPC. Unless you hate that Remy card, I'd, I'd hold on to him. And is that Antoine Griezmann's brother at <laughs> left mid? He looks so much similar to Antoine Griezmann before before the Barca. Yeah, really. Um, this team is nice, though. I like this team a lot. Um, what would I improve with this team? Huh. Maybe Cantella for Walker is just about it. Um, and then, obviously, yeah, upgrading the striker eventually. But you've got a time, in my opinion. Unless you don't like Remy, you've got time, in my opinion. You can just hold on to him uh, for a while. Apart from that, the team is uh, is really, really strong. Uh, I do like it a lot. Um, take that chem style off to Sagan, though. Stegen does not need a chem style. I'm pretty sure that Stegen has almost 99 in every stat um, without a chem style on. So uh, use basic. Uh, the next team is coming. I didn't even read it. I just clicked on it. Lovely. Uh, the next team comes from Leighton Johnson, who says, Dalbert, Sissoko, Gomez, tradable. Have 50,000 coins. Any improvements? Keep the good work. Well, thank you very much, man. So you got 50k. All right. So here's where you're going to improve straight away. The, th the, the players that need to improve, Henderson needs improving drastically. Um, Dalba, I would say improve to Alexandro. Uh, I would say improve Nick Pope, maybe to, to Butland. I don't think informed goalies are the way to, to go. Um, and then work towards saving up towards getting yourself, uh, Kante over Endon Bele. Um, in terms of who you want to upgrade for Henderson, I'd recommend Wijnaldum, maybe. Oh no, it has to be English. I see, I see what you're doing here. Um, I understand now why you've got him there. English and mids in the Prem. Deli Ali, maybe? I think Deli Ali would be better than Henderson. Um, yeah, you play Henderson as a midfielder. Deli Ali would be way better box to box. Um, but yeah, that's that's sort of what I do. I like that though. I like I like the Dan James at right mid and the and the Philippe Henderson. That Dan James, I can't wait to do it. I'm really excited to use him. Um, I'm just sort of uh, I'm just sort of waiting for uh, waiting for a time when I'm bored to complete him. Really, but that's a really nice team though. I like the team a lot, and I think that you can uh, you can definitely improve with the queens you got. Um, yeah, 50k. So, yeah, I think I might have said you had 150k, but I know, you, I know you've got 50k. So I'm thinking Deli Ali, uh, Alexandro, Pickford, um, and then save up for Kante. Definitely the way to go. Well, thank you all for watching this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I'm trying to talk a little bit slower in these videos because I feel like sometimes it's really hard to understand what I'm saying. So I'm trying to mouth my words a bit better and trying to talk a little bit slower. Um, so apologies if it seems, if, if you prefer the quicker talking, let me know down below. If you prefer slower, let me know down below. I just did it as well. I mean, if, you prefer, if you prefer slower, let me know down below too. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.